Hello, it's Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and today we're going to do a quick overview video on our product, Home Management Wolf Home and Inventory Management Software. Now, this program helps you manage your home and properties, whether it's uh, your personal home, properties that you're renting out, uh, vacant lots, buildings, almost anything. And it also allows you to keep track of all your personal possessions. Um, save receipts on the possessions, just keep, a tr keep track of all your possessions and organize them into different areas and groups so that you know what you own and you know the current value. Um, it's it's a really a very useful program and something that really everybody that owns a home and even um, owns anything should keep track of these things. So we're going to do a quick overview of, of the program today. Um, so right now we have the starting screen of Home Management Wolf up and if you click on the home icon here in the upper left corner it loads, loads the home module, and here's where you keep track of all your properties, homes, etc. Uh, as I said, vacant lots, any, any kind of properties and assets that you have. Um, so you can add as many homes and properties as you like. It's the uh, program is unlimited in that nature. In this case, we're going to go ahead and load a sample home that we've entered here already. So just select the sample home. You can see it brings up some images of the sample home. Uh, you can click through the images. You can enlarge these images too and some fundamental basic information on the home, the type of home, the address of course, style of the home, the year it was built, uh, interior square feet, local area, lot acreage, things like that, all this information is saved here. And also you have the uh, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, garage, and some other information that you can enter, interior features, exterior features, and of course a large notes area that you can add up almost anything that you want about the home, descri descriptions, etc. Right above this, you have uh, several sub-modules, uh, features, mortgage. We're going to go through each one of them very quickly here just to show you the capability of the program. So right now, we have the features tab selected. If you click on the mortgage tab, um, once you enter your mortgage information, purchase date, account, uh, monthly payments, the length of the term and years of the loan, interest rate, things like that, it'll automatically calculate out this information here, which shows you uh, according to the payments that you're making. The amount of the payment, of course, the interest on each payment, the principal, the, the amount of the payment that's going towards the principal and the balance left over. It also um, will, sh will graph, uh, show you, a display a graph here that shows you, of course, at the, at the left of this graph, when you first buy the home, you're, you have nothing but debt. But over the, over the years of the loan, of course, you start to build equity in the house. And if you look here on this graph, at about the 250th payment, which is, I believe, about 20 years out of the 30-year loan. This is a 30-year loan we're looking at here. Um, your equity begins to equal the debt still left on the house, which is very interesting. So you can keep track of that. Um, also, you can keep track of the uh, the bank and the information from the bank where the loan was, uh, uh, where you got the loan from. So we'll go to the next tab here. You have an insurance tab where you can keep information on your home insurance policy, uh, any any kind of insurance you have on the home. On a, uh, appraisal tab so this will as every time you get your house appraised you can enter this information here this will keep track of the uh, appraisal value of your home you have a home warranty tab uh, again you can enter information save it on uh, your home warranty insurance policies things like that any kind of information whether it's your you know, almost any kind of information can be saved here but uh, this this particular tab is for the home warranty you have a uh, file attachment tab where you can scan in uh, important documents about your home, the mortgage, um, the mortgage uh, uh, contract, um, all, all kind of things, anything that's that's associated with your home. Um, again, the home insurance, maybe there's a home insurance contract, anything that you have that's an important document, you can scan in and save it here. And all these documents can be viewed very easily by just clicking on the document and clicking the view tab, and it'll automatically open up the information for you um, on your screen. So. It automatically accesses whatever program you need to open the the, uh, the particular document that you have saved. Uh, there's also a maintenance tab, which is really useful. So everybody's home needs maintenance, and this maintenance is color coded and is it's separated into seasons. And you can, if you uh, we'll click the new tab, you can easily enter a new maintenance uh, description. You have a type, and it's separated into seasons as needed: fall, monthly, spring, summer, etc the priority, the date you complete, and also some notes that go along with the home maintenance that you're doing on the house. So you can just click on these and uh, complete them anytime you're they're completed. You can keep track of all your home maintenance, which is really important to keep your house in good shape. 
everybody pretty much has a home maintenance list, and if you don't, you should have one. That'll keep your uh, keep your house in good shape uh, while you own it, and it'll be useful to show a prospective buyer in the future. You know, when you're ready to sell your home. Uh, the to-do list tab again, um, you can just quickly enter some to-dos that you have to do around the house, whether it's put a do a new uh, door handle on or a, fix a window, whatever. You can add these things here and keep track of them. And then a financial tab, which keeps track of the financial investments that you have in the home. And you can enter all kind of things here. If you click on the add, you can enter mortgage bills, home improvements, assets, all kind of things here can be added. And it keeps track of you in this graph of the kind of uh, financial investments you have in the home. Okay, so that, that pretty much show, gives you a quick overview of the home, home management module. So we'll go now, if you go up to the top here and click on the inventory icon this is where you save all the information on your personal possessions and really important again in case of fire theft some kind of any any time you lose one of your uh, your possessions you can file for a, a insurance claim or a warranty claim and this this information is uh, extremely helpful and, and on, on top of just keeping track of all the things that you own it also will automatically um, keep track of the current value of the item the replacement value all these things are calculated for you um, automatically so you can see here you have uh, this category column where so all this all these things that you've entered I'll click on one here click on the camera so it loads the camera you can put a image of course save an image for the camera whatever possession it is you're entering and a bunch of information here is saved um, description category so you can add categories as here we have books clothing electronics you can add categories uh, as, as needed same thing with location you can you know specify where this item is being kept in the home. You have a bunch of different locations at home and you can add more as needed. The brand of the item, model, serial number, condition, status. Uh, let's say you can also specify where, where you purchased it, the purchase date, purchase price, quantity, salvage value, all these things. Uh, some of these red values, if you click on them, it'll open up a little number pad where you can enter information very quickly. And all this information is saved for you. And once you enter this, this uh, fundamental, this basic information, it'll automatically calculate the current value of the item using a straight line depreciation which is the accepted way to do it and a replacement value if you click on the help button it explains all these these terms for you so you understand what's exactly what you should enter and if you click on the different categories here you can see that everything is based in based on the on the category that you in, you entered the item for so it's a quick way to organize things um, here you can click on electronics it'll show all your electronic items that you're that you're keeping track of. Now for each particular item, in this case we still have the camera up, you have a four, actually five sub-tabs here. So this is the general information. Um, let's click, click back on it to load it. And you can click on the maintenance repair. So if you get the camera repaired, you can enter this information here. Um, warranty uh, for every item, you can enter this information if needed. Um, attachments, so for example, for here's a camera. Uh, you can scan in the receipt for the camera. Um, let's see, we have a Nikon T800 here. So if you just click on that item and then click the view button, you'll see we have the receipt here. Uh, it, was, it saves the receipt for you, so that's uh, very useful. And then notes where you can just add some extra notes about the item. And as I said, you can quickly enter enter things uh, um, for for your home. You can uh, and separate them into different homes, different uh, locations, different rooms. You can organize them by category. There's lots of ways to do it. Really, it's up to you how you want to organize it. Keep everything uh, separate and straight. Uh, so this this will keep track of all, all your all your possessions. And the next uh, area we're going to quickly go over here is if you click on this contractors vendors tab. Uh, this is a way for you to keep track of all of the contractors that you use to to fix things in your house, home improvement contractors, etc., and also vendors. So for this case, we have Home Depot and Lowe's. This information is contact information that you can save on them so you can quickly find them, whether it's on the web or a phone number, etc. So contractors um, and the vendor section is very useful, just a way for you to keep track of... Uh, all the different uh, companies that you're using to, to maintain your house and, and also your possessions. Um, so that's pretty much a quick overview of Home Management Wolf, Home Management and Inventory Software, and we'll have some more videos in the future uh, about specific functions of the program. Thanks for listening, and see you soon.